Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Resurrection Sunday where because of the great sacrifice of Jesus dying on the cross for us and taking our place, we show our appreciation by preaching and teaching self-care. So I thought that it was a good idea to build confidence, hope, love, trust, and faith in Jesus by telling some different testimonies and stories of my own personal lives and the lives of those that is in my family and friend pool. So today we are on um, the series 12 Common Miracles and we're on number seven, which actually one, I believe one is a bonus. So, okay. So um, for those of you who do not know, my name is Sheila Rollins and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous. We support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and what he has accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our holiness, our sanctification, the things that we thought impossible, our completeness becomes possible with Jesus Christ being our Lord God and our Savior and soon coming King. But we have to do our part by being obedient, be using the tools that he's given us because we're not perfect. We do something wrong, use that grace, use that mercy to get back into the good graces of God, okay? And the things that he has, he will pour those things out to us. We need to do our part by being obedient to all of his commands, including the fourth commandment where he admonishes us to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. He sanctified it and he blessed it, meaning that he set it aside for holy purpose, the only day that he has done this. And so, um, and we need to do the right thing. So, okay. So we have our golden heart. Okay. And inside of our golden heart, you know, we have... The plastic is the ones that we already did. But we have in here pieces of paper that has titles on it or stories that I have in my memory. Okay? So let's just draw one. Let back on. Now, I like to have scriptures for the stories. And it's kind of hard. It has to be kind of impromptu because I don't know what story I'm going to draw. Okay? So. At this point, if you haven't already become a part of the YouTube family, please do so. It's totally free. See the word subscribe, touch it, a bell will come up. When it does, touch the bell. And then you'll see the word all. If you touch the word all, that means that you want to be notified for every new upload that I create. Okay? All new content. So, and while you at it, please share with everyone, including on all social media platforms. Please give me some thumbs up for encouragement. Or just to say that you like it for anything that you like the story you know the faith in god just anything what i got on my curly hair just anything okay um or just say hi but whatever be kind comment all the way under the bottom you can comment on the side is the description it has my contact information touch the arrow and it'll take you some more information and also to uh, my contact information, okay? The best way to hit me up is my phone number if you have it and messenger, okay? Um, I don't check my email that often, okay? So, all right, so we have our title here. Uh, oh yeah, wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing extra for Joey. Ha, huh, what does that sound like? Comment down below. If you have an ideal, what that could be about. Was he disobedient? Okay. Was he in trouble that he couldn't get nothing extra? What was the problem and why there was nothing extra for Joey? Okay. So, all right. So, it was junior, senior prime. And you know that the kids like to be decked out. Sharp from head to toe. And so the girls with their nice dresses on, their, their hair all beautiful and everything and all their nice accessories and looking just so cute. And the guys looking so handsome, debonair and a nice haircut and all that. And it wasn't so no different for my son. He wanted to look his best. But there was one problem. 
while I had the money for a tuxedo. And I believe the shoes come with the tuxedo. And maybe a little gift for the girl on the court. But that was all that I had. Okay. So we go to the tuxedo um, store. And he knows. Tell him, no surprise. This is what I got. Get something in my budget. You know, we got to get the girl some flowers, a gift, a card, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. You're on your own. So the day came that we went to the tuxedo shop and he got a sharp tuxedo. Oh, my son was going to be sharp for junior senior. He was going to be sharp. So now junior senior was on a Sunday. Whereas I know that you used to, you know, junior seniors being on a Friday, on a Saturday, but because of the Sabbath and the specialness of the Sabbath and, you know, the holiness of the Sabbath, we can't do our own thing. Things that have to do with us other than like eating, sleeping and taking care of ourselves. But the other things like a nice function like this or, you know, something like that. No, 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 no. So Sunday, the first day of the week, first chance that we can do that. So Sunday came. And it was time for Joseph to go and pick up his tuxedo. So when he gets there, or should I say when we get there, I waited in the car, I guess. Can't remember that part real clearly. But it doesn't seem like I was there and, and you know, right pr presently there, immediately there, when the store owner, the associate or whatever told my son that, the tuxedo was not there. So, okay. So he comes out and he tells his mama, I go to the store. And the man said, sorry, ma'am, by accident, we sent your son's tux, not just your son, there's another child too, Joey, one of Joey's best friends, sent his tuxedo back to be washed or cleaned up with the other tuxedos from the people who had went to the junior senior prom on Friday and Saturday. So this meant that Joseph did not have a tuxedo. So the people felt so bad. And so I got excited. The reason why I got excited is because the Bible says basically that God will repay us for what we go through on this earth. He is both an avenger and a rewarder. So I knew that something blessed, something juicy was going to be coming up. I didn't know what, but I was waiting for it. So I get on the phone and I call the other boy's mom and I said, girl, guess what? They sent your son's tux and my son's tux back with the dirty tuxedos from the weekend, from Friday and Saturday. Oh my God, my, our kids, we don't have no tux. But you know what? I know it's going to be good. They're going to make up for it. I just can't wait. So we laughing on the phone and stuff. But when I got in front of the people, I had to have a serious face. I didn't let them know that I knew a blessing was on its way. So the people was like scrambling. Fortunately, the same tuxedo that my son had ordered was on a floor model. So what they had to do is they undress the um, the mannequin. They undress the mannequin, tailored, tailored the, the tuxedo to fit Joseph. And guess what? Where I did not have extras for Joseph. God made a way. That tuxedo shop offered my son a top hat. They offered him gloves they offer him tie tie clips um uh chip um cufflinks and guess what else a walking stick so whereas i thought that i was not going to be able to provide my son nothing with nothing extra god made a way to wear my son Totally sharp because he had extras. Not only did he walk away with extras, he also walked away with a hope, a faith, and a trust in a God that is not just an avenger, but a rewarder. So if there's anything that you're going through on this life, 
If you have like the bare necessity or whatever, trust God. Anything that happened, any kind of mishap, look for something positive and greater through God. I love you. This is all I have for you. Remember to try out those fundraisers, those vegan meat alternatives and size non-dairy ice cream and other desserts that's better for your health, you know, okay? And also the playlist. Don't forget our playlist, all right? You know, fill you up on something good, to, you know, to draw out your confidence, your love, your trust, and your respect for God. I love you. This is all I have for you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.